So today we're at a mall in Mongkok. Uh, it's still pretty early in the morning, so there's not too many people. And we're going to do a walkthrough for the food court here. This is a pretty nice food court. They have a lot of local style food and uh, Asian choices. They're just getting opened up outside. So you can see here, there's still the closed up on a few. But I don't need them to be open to be able to see what's on the menu. It's always nice to see the variety here. So this is the uh, food opera. So this place here off on the left is Toast Box. This is a local favorite. It's super cheap. Uh, you can see their menu up here. It's all in Hong Kong dollars. So here behind us, uh, this is a noodle and congee joint. Uh, zoom in on some of the dishes here. And you can see the price is under each one. So all in Hong Kong dollars, so that's 35. This one's only 19, so it's about $2 US. And then rice sheets with barbecue pork, there's 23, cheap. Crispy fried pig intestines. Mmm. Deep fried fish balls. Some squid tentacles. There's some more fish balls. Here's some wonton noodles. Beef biscuit. Pork knuckles. With stirred thick egg noodles. Chicken and pig liver congee. My mom would love that. Pig innards congee, yeah. Can you see that? Pig innards congee. Can't get enough of those pig innards. Yeah. Here is um, squid and pig skin. Well, it's, uh, interesting. Going down here we have uh, Chinese chicken rice. So similar dishes, but a little bit of variety. Uh, here we have some rice dishes with pork. There's some chicken dishes and egg and noodles. And there's some Hainanese chicken, roasted chicken, for $46. Over here, it looks like we have um, a place called Quenches, hot and cold. And they do smoothies, it looks like. All kinds of fruit smoothies. So we got some nice ripe mangoes there. They're looking pretty yummy. Oranges, lemons, bananas, kiwi back there. Uh, got a little bit of everything. And it looks like you can also get some shaved ice here. So crushed ice with uh, beans, ice kachang, and ice with mango. And you get some red bean soup. And that's uh, pretty rare to see in the U.S., but here it's common. And uh, tofu pudding. On around here they have stuff that looks pretty unappetizing to most people, but to locals this is not bad. So we have some uh, split pea coconut pudding. Some milk berry mixed bean pudding. And over here we have some black glutinous rice. This is 422 per cup. And some coconut red bean pudding. Head on back over here. I saw a nice dumpling place. And this is a Bafang dumpling. And they have a noodle soup and dumpling soup. And some kind of fried dumpling. If you've never had these, you should really try it. Really yummy. And, uh, Taiwanese rice noodles with some squid on them. Okay, here we have uh, the Shanghai Delights and Noodles. Ming's Shanghai Delights and Noodles. Here's the uh, obligatory sweet and sour. They, they say they have these just for foreigners, but I've seen locals order them quite a bit. This looks pretty good. Stir fried beef. With rice noodles. We got some shredded chicken with rice. 
Here we got some Shanghainese fried thick noodles with pork chop. And some Dan Dan noodles. Some noodles with fried pork. This is the big bladder, I guess. Shanghainese noodles are sorted. I don't know who's going to eat all that, but it looks like it's mostly vegetables, so maybe it's not as daunting as it looks. And these look like beef dishes, thin sliced beef dishes. This one is uh, sauteed sliced pork and spicy sauce. And over here we have more platters. Looks like we have a different pork chop platter here. Crispy chicken. There's a tofu dish. Chicken dish. Egg and rice, some chicken wings. Yeah, over here it looks like we got some fresher stuff. Oh, we got some nice sushi dishes here. Assorted sushi sets for 108. That's nice. If you want these, you can just uh, scan your octopus card and pay for them, so you don't need cash. Set meal here with unagi. That's good. Tempura and U.S. Angus beef. Wagyu beef, if you want some Wagyu. And down here, more sushi sets. There they have salmon. Different salmon sets for 59 and 48. It's pretty good. Over here, we got some chicken and beef noodles and some spiced beef. You can see that there. <laughs> they have chopsticks holding up the rice. <laughs> it's uh, interesting. And down here we have uh, spicy but hot chicken with rice and rice noodles. Over here we got a lot of seafood dishes, seafood and veggies. Here we have Sichuan spicy combo, spicy soup, sliced fish. Oh, I wonder everything here. Uh, down below. We have different kinds of noodles, tapioca noodles, deep fried bean curd noodles. Oh, we have some with bacon. Sliced beef with rice noodles. So here we got pork belly. There's some assorted seafood. Oh, that looks pretty good. Very colorful. Jumbo fish balls with rice noodles and pork broth. Wandering on down. This is a pretty big place as you can see. It's not busy yet. This looks like we got some omelets. Fish filet omelets and curry. Beef omelet and curry. So I guess this place specializes in curry. Omelet rice with prawn cutlets and curry. It's basically a hamburger steak with an omelet and curry. Here below we have pork cutlets. Here we have a big old hot dog. A one band mix grill with omelet. So you get a hot dog and chicken and hamburger. And then here you have a chicken steak. So not bad, pretty cheap. If you like curry, they're really good and fast. You can see they're whipping up the curry dishes there. These other places, it looks like they're still not open yet. So they have the uh, sample dishes out that you can see what they have. Sorry, it's a little dark here. They don't have the lights on yet. Notice here it's uh, all empty seating for the most part. This one is a lobster festival. So they have uh, steaks here. And then they have the lobster festival for 488 Hong Kong. That's about 55 US for two people. You get a couple of lobster tails and Wagyu beef. If you notice there, and you can choose from either one of those. Over on the other side, we're going to wander over and see what we missed over there. There's a few more people over here, but not many. So maybe this is something amazing. Let's see. Uh, Garlic and butter chicken wings. Everybody can get on board with those. Lemongrass pork. Shredded chicken. 
shredded chicken more. Beef foam. Angus beef. Rare beef beef tripe. Not too fond of tripe myself, but a lot of people love it. This place is uh, Japanese udon. So they do udon noodles, as you can see. Some uh, pork gristle handmade udons with pork bone. Can't get enough of that gristle and bone. There's some uh, mackerel with udon. There's some hot spring egg with beef and handmade udon. And some grilled chicken fillet with udon. Heading on up here. They have a nice. Uh, Playground outside for the kids. Pepper lunch. They have these all over Hong Kong. This is a really common place. They all come in these big bowls like this. And you can get beef and curry and all kinds of other stuff. They have quite an extensive menu. I could show you the menu. So the menu here and you can see quite a lot of dishes on there and they're cheap most of them are about 60 or 70 Hong Kong so you pay about eight bucks nine bucks US for a full meal it looks like we're all done here this place we didn't hit yet this looks like some sort of a grill chicken steak with sauce. This is uh, some sort of a grilled Salisbury steak and this is lamb and some pasta's. We'll see if uh, they're easy to view when we check out the lighting on it. This place is steamed, healthy steamed cuisine. So you can see they have some steamed dishes here already set now and I guess you just pick from these and then they'll bowl it up for you. You can see it's uh, quite hot. I wish I could identify all of that but I can't. Uh, this looks like sliced winter melon and this is sliced tomatoes with maybe tofu in it. I'm not sure. And that one, I'm gonna guess chicken and vegetable soup. So mostly the steam stuff. And you can get chicken feet here. Yeah. For those people who are not fans of chicken feet, we're gonna avoid this. Okay, yeah, that's our tour of the food court. We're gonna head on out and uh, see the rest of the mall. There's a lot of places to eat here and a lot of shops. It's just all starting to open up, so it should be a fun tour. And we'll post that up tomorrow.